happy Easter to you all, and thank you for getting us to 26,000. Yes, the agenda still remains 30,000 subscribers. Um, in today's video, we are going to talk about Jordan Ayu. Yes, um, I just don't like how we Ghanaians are treating Jordan Ayu. Hey, put yourself in Jordan Ayu's shoes. He scored two goals yesterday, and then no one is talking about Jordan Ayu. It's as if we don't know Jordan Ayu scored two goals for Crystal Palace yesterday against Leeds. Currently, he has 32 goals in the Premier League, the most for any Ghanaian player who played in the Premier League. I mean, why are we not celebrating Jordan Ayu? Is it because he's not our favorite player? He's not Kudush, he's not Thomas Pate, so we're all quiet about it. Which is not the way to go. I mean, we need to celebrate these players, these black star players. But we are so quick to bash them, especially the youth. We are so quick to bash them if they don't perform well for the black stars. But we don't give them their due credit when they do well either for the black stars or when they do well for their club level. If Kudus had scored a goal for Ajax, the whole Twitter team or or the timeline would be talking about it even till today. But because it's not Kudus, it's because it's not Thomas Pate and it's Jordan Ayu, everybody is quiet about it. Jordan Ayu is really performing very well under the new coach, Roy Hudson. Before even the two goals, he gave an assist. So Jordan Ayu is really performing well. He has qualities. And I believe Fishington has a plan for him in the future Black Star Collapse. If we don't celebrate these players, I don't know who else would celebrate these players for us. Let's just bring this to our normal daily life. Imagine you work for your boss or you work for someone and then you are not appreciated the way you should. How will you feel? Let me know how will you feel. But then if you do a mistake, you are being scored. How will you feel? How do you feel if you go through this? This is what these players go through. Yes, you will not like it. So this is what these players go through. We don't give them credits when it's due, but then we are so quick to, to say something bad about them when they don't perform well. Don't forget, football is a team sport, so if the whole team don't perform, don't blame it on one player. That's like Jordan Ayu. It's as if we, we have selective outreach for the Ayus. If there's a problem wrong with the Black Stars, we look for a way to blame the Ayus. I just don't like how Ghanaians are really treating the Ayus. Yesterday, it's called Chimbos. And everybody was quiet about it because it's not their favorite player. If it was Thomas Pate who scored a goal for Arsenal, we will be talking about it till date. I don't like you, we would be talking about it till date. So um, Jordan Ayu reacted to his goal. Um, he scored the two goals he scored yesterday, and this is what he said. So after the game, um, Jordan Ayu reacted to his goal, and this is what he said. He said, it is hard to explain. We did a good game. We started bit shaky but overall we kept on doing what we did last week we know we have quality going forward we are very quick strong and skillful we created chances and managed to score these five goals this is what jordan i had to stay after scoring two goals for crystal palace if you want if you will not celebrate jordan i think he will celebrate himself so please let, let's give credit where credit is due now let's stop that favoritism and their selecting outreach we will be poor on these black star players that like, human is like us they go through a lot, so let's just stop that. Now let's talk about Mohamed Salisu. Yes, Mohamed Salisu has not been playing some games for Southampton this season. After his injury, he's fit to play some games, but Southampton are not using Mohamed Salisu. And then reports reaching us is that Southampton are intentionally not playing Mohamed Salisu over lack of commitment. Now, this is the reason why um, Southampton has refused to play Bohame Salisu. Per reports, Bohame Salisu has been left out of the recent Southampton squad due to doubt over his commitment. The club opened first talks about his new deal over a year ago, but Salisu's preference has been to wait until the end of the season. So yes, it is likely that um, Salisu would end his deal at the club, which expires in June 2024. Um, just to talk about this a bit, um, Southampton and then Salisu's situation is quite funny because Southampton is battling for relegation. I mean, this is the right time to use your players that are on form. You don't, you have to put aside petty disagreement and play those players. If you are out of the relegation zone, then you can come and deal with these issues. You don't bench a player because of commitment over contracts. Allow the player to have the freedom to select when he wants to sign the contract. You allow the player to play, let the player feel like a family first before you bring all these contracts and those things on board. Don't forget, Salisu is attracting interest from the likes of Newcastle, Aston Villa, Chelsea, Manchester United. It's possible that at the end of the season, the Southampton 
don't make it out of the relegation zone. He could go to all these tips. So I think I agree with Sane. I think I agree to Wame Sane who holding on with their contract renewal. So Southampton with the whole tactics they are playing, I don't even get it. You're already struggling for, you know, you're already struggling to get out of the relegation zone. And this is what Chelsea is also doing with Mount. Yes. Honestly, I side with Mohamed Salishu. You don't you don't have to be in a hurry to side um, any new contract with Saddam Hussein who looks like they might not make it out on the relegation zone. So I just agree with Mohamed Salishu on this particular issue. Guys, let me know what you think about these two stories down below.